What's up guys, today we have the Acer Predator Helos 300 gaming laptop and we are going to be doing an unboxing, setup, and quick review. So this is the outside of the packaging, uh, we got our standard stuff, this is the other side, and let's just go over some of the specs quickly, right there. So this gaming laptop was a thousand dollars and I picked it up on Amazon. Um, for the price, I think it is probably the most bang for your buck gaming laptop on the market right now. It's got a Core i7 and 16 gigs of RAM with a GTX 1060 and 256 gig solid state drive. Inside the box we get some screws, maybe to add a second hard drive, and then the charging adapter is here. A couple things I want to talk about with the specs is, um, again, for $1,000, I think this is the most bang for your buck you're going to get. You can look at um, MSI, Asus, all the other companies, and for $1,000, they're usually putting in 8 gigs of RAM, and they're usually going to put in a uh, a core, I mean, sorry, a uh, GTX 1050. Again, this has the 1060 with 6 gigs of RAM. That's insane, again, for $1,000. Sometimes the hard drive may be a little more on the $1,000 ones, but I think that's the biggest drawback with this model is that it only has a 256 gig solid state. Um, that's not terrible because we can always upgrade it. So I'll show you guys that in another video. But basically we have setup guides, things like that in the box here. Within the box we have another box. Um, also on the $1,000 gaming laptop, sometimes you might even get a Core i5. Again, I mentioned this is a Core i7 in here. So to open up the laptop, we're just gonna lift this lid and here we are with the beautiful laptop. It's got a nice design on it as well. This laptop has nice red accents. So here is a look at the front of the laptop. Let's look at the bottom. Now on the left side we do have a expansion uh, expansion bay for a, another hard drive. On the side here we have the power adapter, two USB ports, um, charging indicator, and power indicator as well as a headphone jack. Moving along the front we have our two speakers, a SD card slot, USB 3.0, HDMI, USB-C, um, Gigabit Ethernet, and Kensington Lock. Now the reason also because this laptop is a little bit cheaper is because it doesn't have Thunderbolt ports, um, none of those fancy new ports except for USB-C as well as USB 3.0. So I think that also helped with some of the pricing uh, for Acer to lower the price. This is a look at the keyboard, nice backlit keyboard, uh, nice large trackpad with your uh, WASD um, in this red keys. The display is 15 inches, 1080p, uh, IPS display, so it has good viewing angles. If your friend is watching you play, um, it's gonna have nice viewing angles. That also, it also includes a um, built-in webcam and all the standard stuff, Wi-Fi, all that type of stuff. So let's power this thing on and check it out, guys. Uh, I've been using it maybe just for a couple hours, testing out a couple games on here. Everything runs pretty smoothly. This isn't your, again, top of the line laptop. It's only $1,000, so you can always get gaming laptops that are, you know, 2000 even three grand. So um, this isn't top of the line, but it runs everything pretty smoothly. Some uh, extreme games maybe on medium to high settings. Um, 
but everything else, you know, your your typical Steam games, um, nothing that's too heavy in graphics, it plays just fine, man. This thing is a beast. It's very quick. Um, haven't had any problems with it, so we'll test it out some more, and then I will let you guys know how it goes in the description. Um, let me know what you guys think, what you guys want to see. Please leave me a thumbs up if you found the video helpful. I will see you guys in the next one. Check out my channel for more tech videos. Thanks for watching.